Welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of setting up Anaconda 3 in Visual Studio Code by creating the necessary path configuration. If you've already installed Anaconda, but it's not being recognized in VS Code, this step-by-step -step guide will help you fix that. By the end of the video, you'll be able to work seamlessly with Anaconda and manage your Python environments directly from VS Code. First, make sure you have Anaconda installed on your system. If you don't have it yet, head over to the Anaconda website at anaconda.com and download the installer for your operating system. The default installation path is usually fine, but during the installation, make sure to check the option to Add Anaconda to my path environment variable. If you miss that step, don't worry. We'll take care of it manually. Now, if Anaconda wasn't automatically added to your path during installation, we can manually add it. First, we need to find the installation path for Anaconda. Typically, it installs in your user folder under Siege User Saum Anaconda 3, but it could be different depending on where you chose to install it. Open File Explorer and navigate to the folder where Anaconda is installed. Right-click on the address bar and click Copy Address as Text to copy the Anaconda path. Next, let's add this path to your system's environment variables. Click on this PC on your desktop and then select Properties. From there, click on Advanced System Settings on the left side. Scroll down and find the path. Click on it, then click Edit. Paste the Anaconda path you just copied. After that, you also need to add the scripts folder in the Anaconda installation directory. So paste the path again, but this time add those scripts at the end. For example, it should look like this. And that's it. You've successfully created the path for Anaconda 3 in Visual Studio Code. You can now easily manage your Python environments and run code using Anaconda in VS Code. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.